Here's the graph of the function f defined by f of x equals 1 over x, along with one label at the input x equals 1. Now consider another input labeled x that can vary and draw a line from the x-axis up to the point on the curve. As we move x to the right, we can measure the area under the curve and above the x-axis between 1 and the input x. The area is 0 when x equals 1 and increases as x increases. We can do more. Let's actually plot the area on a separate set of axes like this. As x varies, we end up with the curve of a new function. We denote this new function by capital F of x equals the integral from 1 to x of 1 over t dt, and we call this an area accumulation function of the function f. This particular area accumulation function is actually one way to define the natural log. Notice that we can let the x value vary less than 1 as well, resulting in a negative orientation for the area. So this defines the natural log of x for any x greater than 0. 